It's 11 o'clock right now. 11 o'clock p.m. And if you look at my background, for people who are just listening, I have a video I created in the background. It has a cityscape. It has the word wages in small fonts, and a real big font has inflation with money just dropping down. And um, this is about wages, even though inflation is bigger than wages. You know, I've been talking about budgeting, which is great. And I've been putting myself on a straight and narrow now, definitely my finances, but you can't budget yourself out of inflation. Just can't, right? Things just cost more. And now you're just robbing one thing to pay, to pay for another. And, um, you know, guys, this isn't the 1950s anymore where families were able to get away with having one income. It doesn't work that way anymore. Um, even two incomes, depending on how many kids you have, it'll be rough. We're going to talk about some side hustles, you know, other ways of income. You've probably seen them all already on TikTok and stuff like that. And some you may want to do, some you may not want to do. Um, these are things that you're really going to have to figure out what you're willing to do. And understand, too, that a lot of these things that I'm going to be talking about does not give you income right away. It's a, it's, it's a slow build. Sorry about that. I'm getting my computer ready right now. Um, it's a slow build. You know what I'm saying? Um, There's no different in how you got yourself into the debt that you're in, right? That was a slow build, right? But also getting yourself out of it is also going to be is also going to be a slow build and time consuming. Because right now, all you have is time to give. You don't have funds, so it could work for itself, right? You don't have any money right now that can you can compound interest with or invest and make more money with. Right now, what you have is time, which is fine, right? But we don't want to use time forever to trade for income, right? I'm in the same boat and, you know, we can use the pandemic as an excuse and, and the, it's reality as well. You know, people did get fucked up from the pandemic, but, um, wages, right? So of course the country, you know, minimum wage has been going up, you know, but for what, because, because of inflation it's been erased. So whatever raise you, you've gotten or you know, if you're working in some place that is minimum wage, you're fucked. Point blank period, you're fucked. If you're trying to support your family on a minimum wage job, you need to figure something out. That's it. That's all I got. Um, but we're going to go over some things to really see what we can possibly put out there, right? And some things are going to probably be above your scope, but you're going to have to get some new skills, man. And then, you know, as I kind of riddle off some of these things, I don't want really to go into too many areas right now, right? But we are going to talk about a lot tonight. First, it's going to be about wages and budgeting. So, if you're not treating your household as a business, you're fucking up because your household has an income. There's shit going out. You know what I'm saying? There's there's maintenance of buying the shit like groceries and medicines and, you know, having your, your lights on and Hulu and shit like that. And now you have this new thing, inflation, right? So now you're 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 forced to pay extra money. But imagine if you were paying yourself from before and treating yourself as a business and paying yourself as a bill, right? You would have had some money stacked up to support you a little bit. 
possibly even invest. But we didn't do that. And I don't want to just bring up the past and throw shit in your face, but we didn't do it. The reality is that we had to employ some new behaviors. One, you got to write down your shit. Write down how much you're fucking making and what are you paying? What is coming out of that fucking debit account? And if you're unaware, you need to print out last month's statement and really look at what the fuck you were paying. Okay, because some things we... We tend to forget, right? Five dollars here, ten dollars there, the subscriptions and shit, they pile on and it, it comes out to hundreds of dollars. All right. So start writing shit down. Okay. Google even has on Google Sheets. If you don't have like Gmail, go get a Gmail, it's free, right? And go to Google Sheets, and they even have a budget template there you can use is basic but you can start with that but with inflation you even without inflation times are changing and you're not and you have to you have to come along with the times right so you need a second income or you need to command more fucking money because minimum wage is not going to cut it no matter how much they raise it you're still going to be fucked. So let's just go down the line. And, and in between then, we're going to talk about some other shit. All right. I'm not sure how many I'm going to riddle off right now, but it's going to be a lot. It's going to hit somebody some way. Right. And a lot of this stuff, again, you're going to have to gain some skill set. You're going to have to figure shit out. Right now, I, I bought a course. And it's not off topic. I bought a course to learn how to code. I'm thinking of my future and, and coding, how long is that going to last for? I don't know, right? It's like anything. But you have to go with what's going on right now. You have to level up your skill set so you can command more money. There's nothing wrong, wrong with a fucking career. I don't want you guys to get sidetracked. Not everyone should be a boss. Not everyone, not everyone should run a business. Some people are just not suited to be an entrepreneur or a boss. But... You are going to have to learn how to budget yourself and budget your household as if it is a business. It's a learning curve. The information is out there. You're listening to me, right? So we're going to go through some shit. Like I said, Gmail, where you fucking template, it's there on the sheets. If you want me to do a YouTube video on how to get, how to get there, I'll, I'll do it just so you guys can fucking understand. Like, yo, this shit, shit is hitting the fan already. All right. This is, you're already on social media. You're doing, you, you're doing the most by fucking scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. You might as well fucking create yourself a YouTube channel. This podcast goes on my YouTube channel. I take the audio out from this fucking video and put it on um my, my podcast, and which goes out to like eight different other like podcasts, just venues, right? So I'm on Spotify, I'm on uh, Google Pods, and I'm on Apple Pods podcasts, and and some other shit I'm on. And um, but it's, it's slow. Like I'm not making money from YouTube yet. I have to build up, and you have to be consistent. And this is a thing that a lot of people don't understand. Is no different than at your job. You're not going to get that raise or that promotion to a couple years in. Let's be serious about it. You have to put the work in. And we have to think long term. No doubt, short term, you're fucked. I know it's hard. And it's going to be a little bit harder. You just have to work your way fucking through it and plan for a year from now to see where you can be. Right? So, YouTube channel. There's so many things you can do with the YouTube channel, but you have you have to definitely know what you want to do. You have to look at what niche you want to go after. Okay. Point blank period. If you're just trying to do some random shit, it's not gonna work. If you try to do some funny shit, but you're not funny, leave that for the other people. It's either entertainment or knowledge, something of value, something that's gonna give people value. There's no, there's no different 
and you watch TV, right? You choose what you're going to watch based on value to you. If you're going to create content, you have to figure out what that is and what's passionate. If you're going to chase the, the money, then you're not going to make no money. Figure out what you're passionate about and see if you can promote that even more, right? The starting a YouTube channel. I'm not going to go dip, seriously deep into I mean, There's a lot of shit I'm going to re recommend here. I'm not going to go super deep, but to start a YouTube channel is fucking free. You know, yes, you're going to have to learn how to edit. There's crazy editing apps. People edit on their phone. I personally do it. I have a Mac. I have Final Cut Pro. I edit on that. Right now, I'm using Zoom to record me with the video piece. Um, so I have the background the way I have it. There's, there's so many different ways you can do things that's free. Zoom is costing me nothing. This whole thing I got right now is costing me nothing. Yes, I invested in the camera. I invested in my microphone. I invested in my computer. But I, my, my, Mac, my Mac is fucking six years old. I replaced a hard drive during the pandemic because I wasn't trying to fucking buy a new one. It's just expensive. It's just going to fucking last me. Right? Start a YouTube channel. And figure out what niche you can go after. Just start posting, though. Just post. And then start looking at your analytics to see which ones are getting hits and make more of those type, same type of videos. Okay? That's YouTube. Potentially, depending who's out there. All right, number two. Become a freelance writer. Again, guys, we got to level up skills. If, if you like to write or you were told, hey, you write great essays and stuff like that, this may be something for you because what you can do is become a free, freelance writer going to Upwork, Fiverr, um, you know, uh, going to those places. You can really make your own business from that, starting with them first. Now, they do take some funds from you. You know what I'm saying? Because you're using their platform. But once you take off, you can, you know, create your own website, start promoting yourself, and start garnering the, the, the total that you're freaking requesting for the service instead of, you know, doing a piece of the pie to Upwork or Fiverr. But that's a great start. It's, it's, it's a platform that's there. Okay? And you can, you know, you can start off low. If you're just starting out, you know, make yourself enticed to try to get some clients in, you know, so try to get some, some five-star ratings. And then, you know, as re remember people, you can always raise prices. You just can't lower them, right? You can lower them with a sale, but you can't go backwards and, and, you, and you want to keep it in integrity, right? So yeah, start off cheaper first, but then as you grow, you know, your skill set, you know, start asking, start, start commanding what your, what your value really is. So number two is freelance work. Freelance writer. Number three, sell crafts online. You have Etsy, right? Etsy is bombarded with shit with people who does crafts. It's great for that. eBay as well. But if you're not crafty, this may not be for you. But if you are crafty and you've been making shit on the side for, for parties and for, you know, for special events, then what are you waiting for? Pull that fucking trigger already. And again, there's so many tutorials on YouTube. The education is out there and it's free. There's no fucking excuse to find out more in depth what you can do with it and how to promote it and how to put it out there. And there's also going to be called something a learning curve. You just have to learn shit. Number four, manage social media. Shit, you manage your shit. Right? You've gotten to X amount of freaking followers. People are following you. Why not make some money at that shit? Right. So it's a cool side hustle that maybe can become something of a replacement for your job. Remember, these are all side hustles that you're going to have to do something in the media aspect or form of it or, or generating additional skills you have to garner for your career. And content is king right now. So managing you know other people's accounts or getting older 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 generation especially for like business owners who are severely, severely gapped and and making content for the business you can help them do that okay number five you can test products you know this one here i'm not even sure what i'm recommending it for I'm not going to go deeper in that. You can test products. I'm, I mean, I'm not sure. Like, 
what you're really going to get out of that. But, you know, maybe you get to keep the products, but, you know, I don't want to buy by that one. Real estate, flipping houses, right? Real estate's expensive to get into right now. And maybe it's, this is your way in the door, but maybe getting your real estate license. Maybe you become a real estate agent before you start flipping the houses to learn the inside of the business, you know, to really learn um, softwares that they use, you know, and honestly, a lot of people don't even need to really go. You can become a, um, yeah, I'll just draw a blank. You can, you can, you can start looking at homes, looking for fucked up houses, houses with fucking plants growing out of the gutters to, you, know, you see a bunch of cars in the driveway just sitting with flat tires. You know, take that address down. You can find a buyer. You can definitely find a buyer, wholesaler. You can definitely be a wholesaler and start that way. And that takes no money. It takes a lot of hustle though. You got to look and look up the person, um, name and find out like who owns the house. So it does take a lot of legwork, but you can make some cash. There's a lot of information online for that too, being a wholesaler. So this one was about flipping houses, but in order to get there, you got to start somewhere. You know, depending who you are, you like animals, you can fucking walk dogs. Again, this is side hustles, people. So you need extra cash, depending on how much you fucking need. Is that, is that $500 an extra month? Is that $1,000 extra month? These are things that you can fucking do, all right? Do garden work. My cousin lives in New Jersey, and her yard, she just bought this house about maybe uh, three months ago or so, and her yard needs, you know, some cleanup. The person's charging her is fucking $600 just to clean up her backyard. So there's manual labor is still needed. Let's not get it twisted. Like, you know, people are not just pressing buttons all day. It takes, you have to move your ass, okay? Remember, this is all about this. We have to beat the inflation, people, and if we're not helping each other, we're not give them back and give them ideas, maybe sparking something. And maybe this list I'm giving down right now, <clears throat> nothing's for you. Let's just say that. Nothing hits you. But it may spark something in you to fucking do something. Or find a hustle that that you maybe you already have in your head. You're just not fucking doing it. Number nine, being a virtual assistant. That's right. Virtual assistant. That means working from home and being an assistant to someone who that is don't know. Right? Um, again, you guys have to look up as far as, you know, what can be charged or you need, you need some standard office skills, you need some knowledge, technology, communication skills going to be, <clears throat> sorry, communication skills are going to be exactly what you need as well. Depending who, um, you're going to be working with, right? Meal prep for others. Let me tell you, you'd be surprised, man, like. People don't want to be doing this. People are willing to pay for shit nowadays. You know, people are like, yo, let's, if I can avoid cooking or having to go to the grocery store and have someone, hey, you know what? I'm going I'm to guide you of what to buy so you can fucking cook your own shit. Or you can drop off meals weekly to your customers imagine that or even monthly too right so let's say they buy you know five dinner plates from you you know one for each day of the week you can set them up on the real like so if you're a cook you love to cook you know this is this is an option you know you can definitely um feeding people is is always a good thing. Again, think of service, think of content, think of entertainment, you know, think of value. You know, the value factor here is that that person doesn't want to fucking cook and you know how to cook and you provide them a fucking meal and they're willing to pay anything for that. Anything. The convenience factor alone, they want to pay for that. So pay attention. That was number 10 already. Shit. I'm not sure how many we got here, but we're going to go down the list. Number 11. Bookkeeping it has some that's how it has some accounting flavor to it. So you're gonna have to really know how you know uh, using certain softwares. I think you know QuickBooks or if it's an older company, a, a traditional ledger, 
that's dealing with invoices and you know, balancing accounts and tracking payroll and process payments and so bookkeeping. If you're musically inclined, uh, be a music teacher, but do it on YouTube, right? Like, like you can actually make an entire course on how to play an instrument and put that on Udemy, on Skillshare, and on YouTube. And you can break it down into different uh, modules and having people watch it. That's the kicker, right? That's not giving people everything all at once. Giving them bits and pieces, and they'll and they'll they'll hook and sink it right into it. So, think about that. We spoke we spoke about this earlier in the flipping houses one. Get your real estate license. My wife suggested for me to get my real estate license, and then I told her that it's really not for me. I I just don't see myself driving around, um, showing houses. That's me. I know a lot of people that can do it though, and have done it, and still doing it, and making bank out of it. Again, don't go after something just for the money. Really understand who you are and go after what you know you're an excel in, right? Because you can go after the money, but if you suck, you're not going to be great at making the fucking money for it. You're going to be just average or below average. So why spend the money on doing something that you don't want to do? But like I said, real estate agent is not a bad thing at all. It can lead to a lot of, lot of good things, like I said prior. I'm gonna skip this dumb one. I'm not doing this. Uh, participate in research studies. Uh, that's you want to do that? Go right ahead. I'm not talking about that one. Start a photography business. You, you, if you listen. If you're talented enough. You have a and you have a great camera. People, you know, you can, listen. You can put your content online, uh, you know, online and get and get paid for it. You know, um, if you're a good videographer as well, get you know catching B-roll. People are making content all the time and they need this stuff. They need still photos. They need you no know, B-roll. And if you don't know what B-roll is, B-roll is what they use in the movies, right? So these are parts of the scene. A lot of times it's just kind of maybe of some landscaping or there's a movement through a room, right? That's that's B-roll. Like, you know, um, so any parts of, of scenes that like a lot of times characters are not in or Let's say um, there's a scene of someone driving a car, but it's from a far distance. The actor's not in that car. That's like a stunt double. You know, someone else is driving a car and they have a helicopter. Now they have drones. And they're just filming that person drive the car through the highway. That's B-roll. Um, but yeah, photography is going to be awesome. Um, we always need to capture. Like this is prom season right now. So you know, even though people have their iPhones and shit like that and, and, and their Samsung Galaxy shits and take amazing photos, there's nothing like a professional photographer to get those angles, to know how to work with the light. You know what I'm saying? Your phone can only do so much without you really knowing how to be a proper photographer. So um, think about it. If, you, if you're into phot or photography, if you always wanted to get into it, get into it. Start taking pictures. But this is where also, again, about learning, right? With the real estate, you know, you have to get your license. And this next one is building websites. Right. So if, if this sounds like it's out of your scope, I need you to open up your mind. You know, times are rough right now. You see the fucking money dropping right now on top of me, right? It's just dropping. That, but that's what they're doing. They're they, they devaluing the dollar by injecting so much fucking money into the system that the dollar doesn't mean shit. So you need several more dollars just for the same things you were buying a year ago. Nothing's changed. They didn't, gas is gas though. The same way they fucking took it out last year to the way they fucking take it out now, nothing has changed. What has changed was the injection of other fucking money into the system, which created a fucking ripple effect of inflation. And no one is really talking about how they're going to fix it, right? And what they're going to tell you is you have to lift yourself up by your bootstraps. None of my boots have fucking straps. They are laces, but not straps. But this is what we're here for, right? We the people are going to help each other out. But you're going to have to fucking hunker down and understand. You're going to have to fucking get some new skills. You're going to have to go back to some type of school, get a certification, a diploma of some type. It doesn't necessarily mean college again. It can mean that, but like my wife's going to get a diploma. She's going to be a medical assistant 
it's a it's a year long program. She doesn't graduate until next year. It's January, but that's only six more months from now. By the time then, she'd be done, and then she'd be making. I don't know how much she'd be making. I haven't looked it up, but it'd be a second income because she's a stay at home mom, right? So she's going from staying at home mom to that she's making thirty grand. That's thirty grand that we didn't have before. So that helps us out, right? So building websites, getting her how to how to how to web design and develop skills with that. But again, those things are out there. All right. Let's say you have a home. You could rent out a room. I know it's difficult. You may not want to live with someone else, but you know, you can do it at Airbnb. You can rent out a room at Airbnb. You know what I'm saying? You can also just rent out a fucking room too. So if you have a place, you know, it is what it is. Or if you want to redo your garage and make it to a place to where people can rent it out, just check, you know, the laws in your city and state and, and figure that out. So renting a room or renting your house, if you have one, it's not a bad move for extra money. If you love to read, and you know you love grammar and stuff like that, and, and and you're good with punctuation. So, proofreading, being a professional proofreader, that's the thing. Yes, of course you can be, you know, a freelancer. You can do that on on Upwork and on Fiverr. Again, and um, or find a publishing house that that's hiring proofreaders and do your business. Okay. Recycle for cash. So what does that really mean, right? Well, growing up when I was a kid, I grew up in Brooklyn, so in New York, I think in Connecticut, I think in, in pretty much in the tri-state area. I'm sure other states do this, not many, but I think other states do where you cash in those cans, man, those, those little soda cans, you get like five, 10 cents back. So um, we used to do that a lot back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Especially with you know me and my boys hanging out, you know, some, you know being a young kid, just pick up these cans and yo, cash them in, right? So you have that, but then you also have other items. Like, you know, if you get into electronics, like recycling electronics, like motherboards, because they have gold on them and everything, and um, um, not just motherboard, but also um, the processors and everything. If you really get into it, there's some money there. You know, there's a lot of gold on those on those motherboards. So there, there's some value there. But again, you know, recycling is just not just what you're thinking. Is. Don't think of trash. Don't think of trash. Think of recycling, right? You know, think about when you go for oil change. Where does that oil go? They're, they're taking your oil and they're getting paid to recycle that shit, right? So there's, there's always something there. Number 20, damn, in deep. Should I overwhelm you guys with this? Fuck it, we're not. Try thrift flipping. What does that mean exactly? Going to thrift stores, buying shit on the cheap, which I hear though, thrift stores are kind of low. Especially, I think it's uh, Goodwill. I'm not sure that they're pricing shit like almost regular price, or they know what is going to go on sale for, you know, online, and they're kind of pricing it at those prices. <clears throat> and they know that people are doing, like, you know, retail arbitrage and. You know, buying it from them and selling it for a crazy price. That's where you see them popping up every fucking way now. The Google, like, I got like three Goodwills around me. It's like insane how they just pop up. But people do it. There's a, you can find a bunch of people on TikTok. Um, they're flipping and they even have some courses to show you how to do it. And they, you know, they're going to eBay and selling shit and they're making money. You know, figure out. There's so many different ideas. Like I said, just listen. And maybe something will pop off. Number 21, do online surveys. I tried this back in the past. So I'm going to skip this one. That, that's, that's, a, that's a thumbs down. I, it, you're not, you're not really going to make a lot of money. It's like cents on the dollar. And, yeah. and events. Hey, if, if you're the one that people go to to say, hey, I need you to put this together, like, if you're that person that gathers everybody, that gets the venue going, that, you know, that really makes the space look great, 
again, the, if you're doing these things already and you have a, like a, a, a certain knack for it, make it into something. Make it become a hustle and then potentially become your full-time shit. If, you're, if you love health and fitness, yoga. There's yoga studios every fucking where. So if you're really trying to, to really, you know, learn yoga, let's say you were contemplating it, and then let's say you love it so much you want to start teaching it. Again, that's a skill. You, you, you're gaining a new skill, and, you, and you're adding value to yourself because you know the skill, and you're asking for money for it. Continue. This is a theme I'm going to keep on repeating in your head. We have to level up. No more talking about minimum wage. Fuck it. Let it be what it is. It's time for us to level up. You got you to gotta, you gotta fucking take responsibility for your shit. Number 24. House keeping gig. You know what I can say about the other gig? About the cooking gig, right? People will pay for a service. As you know, people... Look, my wife said the day said, I think we need a maid. I was like, you're crazy. We ain't get no fucking maid. But then I looked around and said, shit, man, you didn't made. Dude, we're so busy. Right? You want somebody to just come in and when you come home, your house is clean. Again, people will pay for that service. There's a lot of franchises out there. I'm sure there's a lot of companies you can do as well. Um, you can start your own, of course, and then you know, use social media to, to market yourself, you know. Um, you know, people just start off with a fucking bucket and some rags and some cleaner and you do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? So look it up. If you're willing to do that for a couple bucks a fucking week, a couple bucks a month, if you know what you need and this would do it, do your thing. Well, I'm at 25. I'm going to skip this one. You know, it depends. If you're, if, you're, if you're into fashion, like with clothing, and let's say you're a seamstress or you, you just have a knack for, you know, the, you know, altering clothes or sewing clothes, um, put your services out there again. It's a service. You know, people, this people are still getting their shit, you know, hemmed up. Like, you know, not everything fits everyone the right way. So, people are definitely, you know, still using seamstresses. It's it's a, not as as out there as it used to be, but it's there. This was a great one. If you're bilingual, go teach a fucking language. Teach the language that you're fucking bilingual in. Right, and make some money off of that. You can make a killing. You can actually do it, um, on YouTube. You can make a whole kind of like a course of this basic shit with just words. You can you know figure it out from there, or um, find a language school. You know, again, and you let them know how fluent you are. So again, let's figure it out. Number twenty-seven, design graphics. What does that mean? Um, you know, design, designing creative graphics, not for websites, printables, or like products and stuff like that. If if you're, a, you know, an artist, you like to draw. Hey, make money off your talent. You know what I'm saying? If if you're fucking just flipping fries and you don't have to draw your ass off, you you're doing the wrong the wrong piece. Make make money off your talent. Number twenty, be a delivery driver. I know a lot of people right now are buying box trucks. Like the bigger box ones, like the 26 footers. And, you know, they're getting connections with um, logistical folks to do that, do that, does routes and locally. And because you know, they're shortage of drivers, these people are making a killing picking shit up. So, if that's something you're willing to do, um, look into it. There's definitely a lot of money in that, man, because there's a shortage of drivers and, you know, to deal with this, these local shits. Um, you can set your own schedule. You can let people know how far you want to go out. You know, you can definitely do it, you know, from Monday to Friday only. So you have the opportunity to really control the outcome. So it's not a bad one. This falls in line with the bi bilingual one. This is translate for others. Again, this depends on where you live at, right? And depends on what language you're talking that you speak. You know, you can definitely, you know, this not not every language is on on websites, especially for like uh, government uh, websites. They don't have it in every fucking language that is spoken in America. So, if you're a type of person 
that you know you have a community that's suffering from that because they can't find um or it's becoming more difficult to communicate and but you can you can make a bank off of that so think about that number 30 become a cosmetics brand representative so that's like avon mary Kay. I know back in the day, my mother-in-law used to do um, Avon um, as a help. My ex-wife packed fucking the bags of makeup and shit. Um, she made a couple of bucks, but I was back and I'm not sure how it is now. I'm not sure that's even a thing anymore. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but again, you're providing a service, right? And let's see. Let's go down the list of some other ones. Now the next the next few I'm gonna give you, gonna be kind of rid of them off. Uh, decorate homes. My wife actually loves home decor. She has a natural eye for it. And actually, she went to um, New Jersey when my cousin bought her house to help her out decorate her home. She painted the fucking cabinet. She painted the freaking uh, her stone chimney. Um, and she just loves that. And and but she's going to school to be a medical assistant. But she loves it on the side and. You know, she couldn't really make a killing doing that. Um, and she has. So, uh, sell flower arrangements. So I guess if you're into that, that's cool. Uh, transcribe videos or audio. That's huge too. If you know how to type really fast, um, transcribing is huge because I'm actually thinking about doing it myself. I'm actually thinking about, see, if you speak another language, this, this is an idea, right? So, if you speak, say Spanish, Spanish is like the, one of the largest. Um, one of the languages that has one of the largest groups of people that speak it. You can promote yourself, like just DM YouTubers and stuff like that, um, or even TikTokers, and say, "Hey, I speak Spanish really well. I would love to transcribe your video into Spanish and do a whole voiceover for them." You know what I'm saying? Show, you know, show them your work first. You know, do some work for free. Um, and show them your work. Be that, be that as part, part of your portfolio that you send them, and you can start making a killing, man. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be starting to do that. Uh, probably within this year. I'm not, yeah, probably within this year. I'm gonna start doing that. So that's something to think about. Um, if again, if you if you if you know anything, you can tutor somebody, right? So being a tutor for kids or for adults, again, that comes in down to make you know. Um, if you are bilingual, being a teacher or a coach, or you know, helping people out with that, coaching people with their language skills, or to if you know math, you know, Americans just struggle with math. So, if you're great at math, help somebody out. Uh, I talked about this earlier with the photography, be a professional videographer. I think again, doing that B roll stuff or doing videos for people, or you know, I live in Atlanta, we're in New Hollywood now. So, you know, making a small short film, you know, and you can be doing that anywhere across the country because right now you have so much access to post shit, you know, on these social media sites, you can really make, you know, mini movies. Uh, or for caregiving services, that's going to be more like, you know, babysitter shit or you're watching a fucking dog and stuff like that. So, organized professionally, there's a, a, there's a, a couple. Got their name, shit. And um, the wife loves to organize, and she would organize so much that she wanted to get clients. Now, her husband has some type of really good job, but he quit it and he's helping her. And they, they go across the country organizing people's homes, whether it's closets or kitchens and stuff like that. And they do a really good job. Um, next is be a fitness coach. Again, if you just came from out from like losing super fucking weight and you're super motivated, you just love what you do and you work all the time, you can be a fucking coach. Um, let's say you're into makeup, you can do makeup events. Let's say you know people always say, "Oh, you have an eye for this," or you can, you know, you know, you do really well. Is that letting people know you do makeup for them? I guess it is prom season. Like everyone, everybody wants a makeup artist to go to their crib. You know, again, this comes down to if you cook. So baked goods, listen. People are all about the health craze, but people are also about them cheap meals. And so if you can come up with some baked goods, whether they're on the more of the healthier side or just fuck it, you know, I'm gonna put a pound of sugar in here. It doesn't matter which side you go with, because I think you I think you still have a um customers either way. 
go after it. Your passion is to fucking bake, bake your ass off, make some money off of it. Uh, make custom soaps. There's a, a girl on, or a woman on YouTube I follow. She's in Canada and she makes soaps. She started soap business, I think, during the pandemic, and she's kind of rocking and rolling now. She's making some some, some serious bank. And she goes over how she makes the soaps, how she molds everything, and she's really free with her information. And it's on it's on YouTube. Let's see. Become a podcaster. That's what I'm fucking doing right now. Is there money in it? Money in it. Yes, there is. Um, you can get a sponsor, right? So I use Anchor. Anchor was bought out by Spotify, I think, a couple years ago now. Um, but yeah, I have a sponsor on here. It's going to be it's what you hear in the beginning of the the podcast. And of course, the more people listen, the more I get paid. So yes, they can become a podcaster. Again, find your niche. Figure out what you want to talk about and be consistent with it. You know, you don't have to post every fucking day. You don't have to have a podcast. You can do it once a week. We got at least be consistent with that. Let's say you love to to do hair, cut and style your hair. Yeah, they listen. There's people working at fucking great clips, not the best fucking you know barbers or stylists, but they got you got to start somewhere. You know, fuck up some people's heads, but fuck it. Work as IT support, man. You can go to Coursera.com. Google um, has a course on there. Shit, I took it during the pandemic and um, basic IT stuff for support. Great way to get into the door to, to the tech tech world. But of course, your students to level up some more skills. But while you're doing that, the tech support, you should be definitely like learning how to code or look at other avenues within tech uh, as far as business analyst, analyst or just like a scrum master or a project manager or product manager. Um, there's many different avenues you can go with it. So. Uh, get a customer service gig. Yeah. Hey, retail is still here, right? And they're still hiring from part-time folks. Again, this is for people who are really trying to make some extra cash. Um, do some voiceover work. Actually, that's, you can. You actually can do voiceover work on Fiverr. I, I want to say Upwork, but I don't, not sure. But I definitely know Fiverr. You can do voiceover work. And... Um, you have a great voice and you have to do some price. Yeah, small investment. Uh, maybe a couple hundred dollars for a really good microphone and, and, and a setup to where, you know, you have no sound and you can do some great voiceovers for people, man. And number 47, uh, drive Uber or Lyft. I'm not sure how lucrative that would be nowadays just because of the fuel. I know they are and so are like DoorDash, um, where they are charging an upcharge because the the fuel co- fuel prices and that goes straight to the drivers. Um, so, um, I'm just not sure if it equates enough to cover what these people are already putting into the vehicle, right? So, but if you're doing this part time, it's a great money grab. You know, if you wouldn't let people come in your car, if you want another five hundred bucks, thousand dollars a month, you can make that really on the weekend. Maybe not a G on a weekend, but you can come close to it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you need that money right away, and honestly, these things here, a lot of stuff like this is more like, like I said, like DoorDash or Grubhub or um, Uber or Lyft. If even if you were to lose your job, you can start these things right away and make money. You might not be making the same money you was before, but at least you're making something. So with that said, guys, like wages, we got to do more. Stop expecting people to pay you what you think you should get paid. You should know what your value is based off the skills you have and what those skills garner in the industry that you're trying to be in or you already are in. But if you're just fucking bitching about you working a dead-end job and you want a higher wage for it because you think they're overworking you, that's your problem, that's your fucking fault. Because you have no fucking skills. Get the fuck out. Do something. Educate yourself. Garner new skills. And then you can command more money. Again, there's nothing wrong about being a career-minded person. You can go up that ladder. 
there's pros and cons to everything, just like there's pros and cons to being an entrepreneur. But if you wanted to fuck with those pros and cons and the rules of those particular games, then by all means, go go for it, go after it. But hey, you guys, it's uh, is now. There's no never. It's just now we have to fucking react, and we have to react now. You gotta take complete action and response and accountability for what the fuck you've been lacking of doing, not doing enough of. So I'm not gonna be a dead horse. Let's get on the ropes. Let's get off the rope. Let's 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 you know get out there and let's start hustling. So then that way we can stop trading time for money and start making that money really work for our, ourselves as well, like I said. But going now, going to the future, you need more than two incomes. You're gonna need probably three to four incomes at least right now just to fight off the inflation, right? If you're buying gas for $4 a gallon, then you go in the supermarket and buying fucking milk for $5 a gallon, you know, yeah, you need to make more fucking money, right? So let's get to it. Thank you guys for listening to Giant Nomad Presents and get your ass up. Let's make some shit happen. Peace.